So in this video, we're going to go through another example. But in this case, we've got a rod that's in equilibrium, but it is at an angle. Now, for those of you who are studying AQA A-level maths or OCR MEI A-level maths, uh, you won't have looked at situations like this. So, how do we deal with it? Well, the thing is that we've got, uh, we've been told there is an unknown force acting in an unknown direction at A. So we've got this R Newtons. Now, our job is not to work out R here. But the point of it is to show that regardless of the fact of whatever that force is and whatever direction it's pointing, we can still work out T. And we can do that by just taking moments about point A. So in order to do that, you know, you will have seen uh, working with forces on slopes this, by this point. So when you're looking at this, you're looking at a slope going, OK, well, we've got this force 20 newtons. Usually what I would do is break that up into its components. I'm drawing that very well. Complete a right angle triangle. Okay. And then I would have, well, that's 10 degrees. So this would be 20 uh, cosine 10 degrees. And this would be 20 sine 10 degrees. Okay. And I would still do that, um, even though we're working with a moments problem. So taking moments about point A allows me to disregard R because it's acting through A. And I am 2 metres away from the 20 cosine 10. Now that's going to be going around in that direction. OK, so a clockwise motion. So take away 2 times 20 cosine 10. And then we're 4 metres away from the T Newton force, which is perpendicular to the rod. So, and that's going around in an anti-clockwise motion. So plus... 4 times t, and that's got to be equal to 0. So we have 2 times 20 times cosine of 10 degrees, and then divide that by 4, and we get 9.85 to three significant figures.